Welcome back. Well, let's get talking about uh, Raymond numbers. We have the management with us. Remember that they reported a subdued quarter. We are now joined by Mr. Sanjay Bal, the group CFO of the company. Hi, sir. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. You know, EBITDA margins were down almost 200 basis points, even though revenues were higher. Can you explain that to us? Given the fact that demand in the first half of the, of the quarter was fairly muted and then it picked up uh, due to the uh, festive season and the marriage dates and also the rural pickup which happened on the back of, uh, you know, normal monsoons. Uh, so we've registered an aggressive revenue growth of 12% at a top line level and bottom line grew nearly uh, tripled uh, at the PAT level to 25 crore. So this is uh, a fairly good quarter for us. Uh, We've registered a, a revenue growth across all the SBU segments that we have. So our textile grew by 12%, our apparel business grew at an aggressive rate of 18%, garmenting grew at 18%, shirting business grew 14%, and auto component, which has been a laggard in the past, grew 24%. So, uh, so that has been a very positive uh, factor for us uh, in this quarter. Uh, Mr. Bal, uh, could you talk to us about your margin uh, expectation for the full year? Uh, as uh, the second half is expected to be a little better, right? Margins, what we see uh, is, uh, uh, it'll, it'll be difficult for me to give you a peg, a number to it, but if you look at H1 and H2, H2 is, is uh, really uh, uh, a period when uh, our uh, volume growth uh, uh, is uh, significantly better than H1. Uh, and also our, our realizations are better because of the onset of the winter, the, uh, the higher premium products uh, are sold more. Uh, so better realizations, uh, so accordingly uh, the margins, uh, you see a, a, a shift in uh, margins on the positive side. Uh, so your tools and hardware segment continued to be an underperformer. Any plans to hive it off? Once we have achieved, uh, uh, we, have, we have to create value to unlock value. So the focus is really to achieve that, achieve phase one of our strategy is to, uh, is to create value. And then uh, we are certainly open to the fact that uh, or, or to look at options of unlocking value. Could you talk about the branded apparel segment, sir? Uh, are you looking at bringing in an investor? Uh, what are the plans there? Right now, our focus is really to is to uh, uh, build this business, uh, scale up this business. Uh, we are at a level of about 1,300 crores. The focus, as I said, is on the four power brands. So scale these businesses up, grow aggressively at 20, 25% per annum. Uh, and this will see profitability improve in this business as well. So uh, uh, we are uh, uh, no specific plans in uh, in in uh, in in. Uh, in any getting in any investor uh, but our focus is really uh, to build our brands and and grow this business grow this portfolio we see this as a very important part of uh, the group portfolio and uh, right now we are trying to uh, uh, you know uh, build scale in this business so what uh, might your land development plans be for your thani parcel Okay, what I can definitely, we have shared this in the past and I would like to share with you is that uh, we have now a dedicated uh, real estate team which is headed by a CEO who is an industry veteran and, is, and this team is now working on evaluating multiple options uh, which are open to us. Uh, in this business, uh, there are a number of regulatory approvals uh, which are required for, uh, uh, for the business and all this is currently WIP. What I'm happy to share is that we have secured a, a labor NOC for the land development. And that is just one of the important uh, uh, approvals that you need. There are others which are in the pipeline. So uh, the work is currently uh, in progress. Uh, as and when we have something definitive to share, uh, we will certainly come back to you. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in. So that's the management of Raymond. Remember that it was quite a subdued quarter for them where the revenue was uh, just about higher in single digits and it was really an operational um, sort of uh, disappointment this time, down around 11 odd percent for the EBITDA and the profit, um, however, was okay this time, down around 3 odd percent currently for the stock. We'll take a break now, but um, we're going to get you some expert opinion from our Diwali special show.